Hi guys, Retro Jenko here. Welcome back to my channel. Look what I just got home today. I got a bunch of Emil 1200 beautiful computers. I got a Commodore 64. I got a Commodore disk drive called 1571. And I got some Amiga 600s. Now, this is not new on my YouTube channel. You have seen me disassembling Amiga 600s, Amiga 1200s reviewing them look at some extra hardware that you can expand them with and all that crazy stuff which i love and i love to share with that with you guys and I, i've been looking at these commodore amiga 600s and they have 40 megabyte uh, 80 megabyte 120 megabyte hard disk inside they have one megabyte uh, chip ram upgrades and that's about it, no accelerator cards. Most of the Amiga 1200s also has hard disks and almost all of them has got the um, this type of Blizzard accelerator card. Most of the Amiga 1200s that I buy here in Denmark, they are this, these MK4 Blizzard 030 accelerator cards with with uh, sometimes 16, other times 32 megabytes of RAM. Now, most of these Amiga 1200s has that accelerator card, but one of them has a um, something called LBOX, I think, RAM upgrade, uh, 8 megabyte. But one of these Amiga 1200s has something new that I haven't seen before. I haven't uh, reviewed it on my show. Maybe, maybe I have it in some of my other Amiga 1200s. You know, I don't have all my stuff at home. It's just spread around my <laughs> friends' places and all that. But today I got this card. Look at this one, guys. Now, it's from GDP and it's got the AMD logo there on the CPU. So we're gonna, we're gonna take that card out in this video. Uh, and see if it works. <laughs> I don't know if it works, but I really hope it does. And I hope the RAM is at least 8 megabytes of RAM. Um, so the Amiga 1200 can have um, 8 megabytes of fast RAM and 2 megabytes build and chip RAM. And as I can read, it's an 030 CPU. So it's a beautiful, beautiful card to use with WSD load. So let's just plug, plug that one in and um, and take a look at it, make a speed comparison and and see how it scores in Sysinfo 4.0 and then um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to do that and as you know, every time I find something new then I have to have it on my YouTube channel I just need to share this kind of stuff with you guys I mean, the way I bought these I got an email a couple of days ago now I have been doing this for a year now I mean I got serious about it uh, about six months now and um, I got serious about my YouTube channel and um, you know gaining more view uh, views and getting more subscribers you guys sharing my videos I mean it's just great I love this but I got contacted a couple of days ago by a guy that um, that just wrote to me i have never heard from him before never heard for, from him from the danish facebook sites no nothing he just wrote to me uh, that he saw in some of my videos that i was from denmark and he was a big collector from back in the day and he just wrote to me that he wants to um, sell some of his amigas if i was interested and i asked him and he said he said he has a lot of Amigas, but he will only sell me his Amigas with SMD uh, caps. <laughs> um, and I, I, I just, I knew SMD, that, that's Amiga, yeah, Amiga 600, Amiga 1200, the, the CD32 and the Amiga 4000. And I was like, all right, dude, what do you have? How much money should I? <laughs> Should I expect to you to, to pay you and all that? And he just said, come over here, man, and then, then we can take a talk. So a couple of days later, I wrote to his house and oh my God, 
<laughs> I mean, for years I had my YouTube channel, never heard from him. His house was just a museum of Amigas. He had so many Amiga 500s, uh, five or six Amiga thousands, two Amiga 2000s, and his holy grail was the Amiga 2000s. They were just not for sale. As you all know, it's just I love the Amiga 2000s, so I was like, do you want to sell them? <laughs> What's inside them and all that? But no. All hold through Amigas uh, uh, with the capacitors, he wants to keep them. So he had these. Of course, I got the manuals, books. Uh, what are they called? Power supplies and all that. It was not easy to find with some of them. I got Amiga 500 power supplies, but that's not a problem there. It's just, it's actually better to use Amiga 500 power supplies with these Amiga 1200s. When you upgrade them, they're, they're, they're giving just a tad more juice, more amp. So um, yeah, it's, it's, that's just nice, fine by me. And if you look at it over here, then you can actually see uh, look at the dust guys. I mean these has been on look at this <laughs> Look at this how dusty they are so These Amigas has been on storage for Many many years. I didn't test nothing. I was like it's just so awesome to meet a guy that has been collecting these for so many years, but he, he told me that these Amigas were just thrown out. They were just junk back in the day. I mean, he was just laughing when I paid him because he knows what they're worth today. And it's just fair enough. I love buying collections. With these, I got a lot of joysticks. I got a lot of games. I got so much awesome stuff. He didn't have no Amiga 4000s. If he did, I would have. But um, also, um, he had some Commodore 128D models, not for sale. I mean, I, I asked him, but it, he said only these. And um, if he should change his mind, he will write to me again. And I said to him, if you write again, I will visit you <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> a super, super nice guy. Um, wow, what a purchase. So, yeah. Got a bunch of Amigas again, so let's just uh, plug one of these Amigas, Amiga 1200s on and see what this lovely, newly to my collection accelerator card is all about. Alright guys, let's take a closer look at this bad boy. Now if we just take a little uh, size comparison with the Indivision, individual ACA card here, it's much much bigger than the new stuff i love these cards they're just perfect to use but this old gvp card now this is the first time i'm taking one of these ones out and every time i find something like this i love to share it with you guys i mean the way i got all these amigas is just i i asked him i said why me man <laughs> Why don't just make an ad and, you know, make an auction and, and all that you can, you know, it, because he knew about eBay, he knew about the prices, he said that they had accelerated cards, I mean, he said the Amiga 600 had hard, original hard disks and I didn't open and look inside, he just showed, he said, this one has 40 megabyte, this one has 80 megabyte, he, he, he did write small posters on the mount and all that. I, I trust him. I mean, why should you lie about uh, hard disks and all that? But I just said to him, why me, man? And he said that he, he, he'd he be watching my YouTube channel for, he found out about me for about two weeks ago only. <laughs> oh, those YouTube algorithms, guys. <laughs> but he said that he watched some of my whole videos where I just buy everything. And he said to me, he does not want to have any kind of headache. No, nothing. If all of these Amigas are, you know, dead, then they're dead. I'm not gonna call them and beep about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, but they were not cheap, but I just, I love buying collections, guys. And this is just the reason. I mean, almost every time I buy a collection, I 
get something that I haven't seen back then and not today either so it's just it's it's a beautiful experience for me now this card from GVP O30 the FPU 68882 running with 33 megahertz look at this this is for the battery for the real-time clock and the battery has been pulled off and it's the type of it's, it's not the water battery so we have we have no damage no battery acid no nothing it's just beautiful now it can have two ram blocks and it has only got one and as i said earlier it says gvp here now i have got a an accelerator card in my amiga 2000 from gvp and that one uses it doesn't use the 72 pin and this ram block looks like those special gvp rams <laughs> if they are i think they are but i'm i'm, I'm not sure if they are um, i have some spare i can um, fool around with only if it's less than eight megabyte because i am a youtuber and Everything more than 8 megabyte is just, I don't know <laughs> what I should use it for. I mean, this card, it has got 128 megabytes of RAM. And I mean, I use WSD Load Gaming. I activate uh, preload and with with 4 megabyte. Now, listen, on my Mega 2000, it, my Mega 2000 is upgraded with 2 megabytes of chip RAM and 4 megabytes of fast RAM. With preload, when I want to play, discs that uh, ha that contains in, in, in mini discs and all that games that contains mini discs it doesn't run with four four megabytes of ram uh, because of the game launcher and all that they take off th they use some of the fast ram guys so but with eight megabytes it's it's a beautiful system so i hope this one is an eight megabyte if not we will upgrade for sure so gvp Oh, wait, it says up here, not easy for you to read, but it says Great Valley Products, A1200, JAWS 2, Revision 3. So this is a JAWS 2 accelerator card for the Mega 1200, and it's the Revision Marvel 3. Nice. And the backside of it, Looks like this, nothing really to look at. I haven't cleaned the card, no nothing, it's just as is. And it's got some sort of expansion here. Um, maybe for a SCSI card, I don't know, I'm not sure. I haven't read about this, no nothing. Um, so we'll, let's plug it in and see if it works. I really hope the JAWS 2. The card has been installed in my Amiga 1200. And let me just say, this, is maybe the biggest accelerator card I have had in my Mega 1200 because it's a really tight fit. I mean, look at this. It was not easy to plug in. I mean, something like this, it's just, you know, ding, and it's inside. But <laughs> this big card, it was not that easy. As you can see, it's really, this is the back plate and um, it really sits, I mean, it sits solid in place. I think all boards should have been done like this. I mean, no, not just slide in, but it, it sits well. I mean, on the transport and all that, it won't shake off. It's just massive. It, it just sits. The only thing I should do was this one. Uh, it was not bent. It was just standing as original this plate here i just bent it a tad because i was nervous if i did something pressed here and and it hit these um, solder joints here so that's the only thing that i did but some of you guys you don't even have the rf shield <laughs> but it's on this one and i yeah i just kept it on but uh, this is how it looks so let's just give it some power cross our fingers and hope that it works I just turned on the Amiga and we got a picture. It just it boots up the actual the card 
works. That's great news. So let's just click here. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um, okay. We're going to cut the video here. Well, I have, uh, where we were, I actually have here. I got a box here <laughs> and inside the box, I have got some more ramps. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade this one. Um, two seconds guys, I will be back. All right, let's just, uh, <laughs> let's replace this ramp. Oh, these plastic holders. They're just, you have to be really careful here. It's, it looks like the same ones that I used on the um, Amiga 4000's motherboard. And these plastic holders, most of the time, they're just broken off on the Amiga 4000 motherboards. So be gentle there. And as you can see here, yeah. Great value products. This is not just a standard 72 pin memory expansion. Now I bought some extras when I bought the one for my Amiga 2000 with the 040, 030 board. And look at this little beauty. Let's install this one. I actually don't remember. I think it's an eight megabyte. I, I don't remember. It was just what I could find online. Oh, nice. Looks great. Oh yes. Just clicked into place. All right, so let's just give it some power and see how it goes. All right, I just upgraded the card and um, installed the new RAM. I should just switch over a jumper. Easy, easy stuff. <laughs> um, you can actually download drivers and um, jumper settings. You can um, uh, add map ROM, so you can load Kickstart into ROM, so you get some more speed. And I enabled that. I disabled SCSI. It can control SCSI 1291 or something like that in the manual. Just a quick look, guys. So this one is now with 16 megabytes of RAM. Now it can have, it's got two memory slots and this JAWS 2 can have 16 and 16. And in the manual, it says that I can use one for 16 megs. And if I use slot one with 16, then I could use a four megabyte on the slot two, but not the other way. If you have a JAWS 2 from GVP with these special RAM blocks. So yeah, we got the uh, 16 megs of RAM, which means 030, two megs of chip, 16 megs of fast, a dream WHD loaders machine. Now WHD Load has optimized the game to run super nice with 020, 030. It's just the sweet spot, super nice system. As you can see up top here, it says the Motorola 030 processor runs 50 megahertz. It's got the floating point unit. I don't think I play any games that require that, but it's there. <laughs> the 6888 to 50 MHz. On the, <laughs> on the chip it says 33A, but it runs 50 MHz. It's clocked, don't know, don't care, it works. AJ with 16 MHz of fast RAM, Kickstart 3.1. Great value products, Series 2, AHC8 Plus, guys, yeah, your computer is an Amiga 1200. Well, you're pretty right about that, sir. So let's take a, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, I mean, the, the workbench, everything is just so fast. I love using these Amiga 
these AGA machines, they're just, I love my Mega 500 Plus, but the AGA machines are just dream machines to use today. I mean, the building ID slot, the easy way to upgrade it. Oh, don't get me started, guys. <laughs> so let's just make a speed test here, speed comparison. So we can see how this card scores. As you can see, 14, 14 times faster than an Amiga 500. So we have enough speed. Drive Storms, 7,500. MIPS, 7.85. So, it's a fast system, okay? Come and smell the rubber. We are running the O30, 50 megahertz. We got the AGA, two megabytes of chip RAM. We got the FPU, no MMU. And this is a super nice system. 1.5, 1.62, the speed of an Amiga 3000 with O30, 25 megahertz. We're, it's a fast system. It's, it's just beautiful. And if we check the memory, it's got again, 16 megabyte, uh, 64 pin, 32 bit GBP RAM, and two megs of chip RAM and nothing more. All right. And we can actually also check the drive speed of my, um, what's it called? My 16 gigabyte compact flash card. Let's just give it a go. It should be about 1.6, 1.7. It's about there. Let's see again. Sometimes it's giving another read. No. All right. It's it's a perfect system. So just let's let's quit this one and see how WHD load works, guys. Let's just make a quick reboot of the system here. And see how it runs. Games. Nice. Oh, that's nice. It's all right. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Let's try alien three. No. Wait. 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 One of my favorite games when I was a little kid. All right, guys, I just want to say, love the computers I just got home. I haven't tested them. I really hope they work, but I'm so happy this GBP accelerated card works. Now I have one more Amiga product documented on YouTube. I feel like that's just my mission. I, I want so much stuff online so we can watch it because we're not getting any younger and these cards are just yeah i don't know how many of them are left but uh it's it, it feels really nice for me <laughs> to document one more of them guys and you know the speed of the old 30 as you all know it's just my favorite processor for the amiga and using wst load games with the old 30 it's just a dream the menu and everything, it runs well. All right, I have made Amiga 4000 videos with um, Cyberstorm MK2 with the 060 processor. Yes, it's a lot faster. <laughs> and not just in the speed test, but it's much more faster using in Workbench. Loading the games, the menu, the controls, the response, it super fast but playing WST load games it doesn't run everything <laughs> so yeah this one is just a sweet spot so I want to say thank you for watching guys I really hope you will subscribe because we have a lot of Amigas that we're gonna restore clean up and film so uh, Join me on my YouTube channel, join me on, on our Facebook team, uh, Commodore64-Amiga Retro Django. 
a lot of guys in there with I mean, so much passion for all this old retro computing. Come on in and join. I'm on Twitter now, Retro Django. Search me, you can find me. <laughs> Just made an account in there. And um, if you like this one, give it a thumbs up, share this video. It would just make me so happy. Until next time. Oh my God, do so much stuff. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. Bye. <laughs>